All right, this was a video that was requested by somebody over on Facebook, Chief Facebook Forum. And the question was about creating this this set of doors, and then I think it sort of evolved into creating the cabinet. So I'm going to show you some ways to do this. And I'm not saying that these are the best ways or the only way or anything. They're just a way of doing it. And what I'm going to show you is just basic chief stuff. There's no secret things in here. It's all just standard, everyday chief stuff. It's it's things that anybody using chief really should know about. Um, and the more you practice with this stuff, the more you use the tools, the better you'll get with it. The more you know about what's what's available, the more you can solve problems like this with the tools that are available. I know a lot of people, the first thing they think about is, oh, I'll just do that in SketchUp or you know, some other program. And for people, you know, that can work. But Chief has got a lot of things that it can do within it, you know, without having to use another program. So um, what I'm going to show you is a what I would call a brute force method. It's not... It's not anything that's, you know, tricky in any way. It's just using the tools. So here's what I've got. I've got the door over here. I've got kind of the raw cabinet here. And then I've got a more complete one over here. And if you look at this, if you look at this image, it looks like you've, you've got like a little bead that runs around the opening. And you also see that this this door, the wood grain, appears to run vertical up here. At least that's what it looks like to me. And if you look at this cabinet over here, you'll see that the wood grain follows around, and that's just the way Chief does this. And I'll show you I'll show you how to get around that if that's important. And in this cabinet, let's see, I I just stuck. I didn't I didn't try to you know, get fancy with putting a bead or in here. I just ran a molding polyline around the opening to create that that little bead detail. And you know, this is uh there's there's a solid up there to fill in this gap. And these doors are just regular doors. I'll make them you know twenty percent open. So these are just regular cabinets, nothing special. One of the tr one of the things you'll learn as you do this is try thinking about where you want to go and then how you're going to get there. And that keeps you from redoing things on the way. There's a lot of stuff like with these cabinets that's easier to do if you do it right the first time if you try if you do something and then you try to go back and change it it's not always so easy for instance i needed a, a gap between the door and the face frame for this little bead so on this cabinet i went in here and i put a separation at the top and and that's just the that's just the standard uh, rail for your face frame and then this opening is two and a quarter inches i wanted it to be two inches but i wanted a quarter inch for that for that uh, molding to go into so that's that's just a blank and then here's your layout and this layout has an an opening on the left that's a quarter inch an opening on the right that's a quarter inch they're hard to see in this but they're there and then the door in the middle and it's got an opening at the bottom, another quarter inch opening down here at the bottom for that gap. And then again, your rail down here. So all, all, all just standard cabinet stuff. There's no, 
Again, there's no fancy symbol manipulation or anything. It's just letting Chief do what it does. This is a uh, framed. I, I did two inch styles and rails inset. Again, everything's pretty standard. The only difference with this cabinet is it doesn't have that gap for the for the molding. And this molding, you can select it right there. It's just a molding polyline, 3D molding polyline. And I'll show you how I generated that here in a few minutes. All right, let's look at how I made this door. That was the original. That was the original question. So in plan, I drew a room divider wall. And I unchecked invisible. This is just the chief default room divider wall. And that lets you put doors and windows in it. I'll stick a... I'll stick something. So there's a window. And there's no, there's no wall. Just a window. So I'm going to delete that. And that's real handy because you can... You can stick things in a wall. And then you can select them and create a symbol and that's what we're going to do so let's go over here to this elevation all right this is just a regular door it's a glass panel door i've changed it to be 18 inches wide which is what i want for my cabinet door 60 inches tall that's what i want for the cabinet door three quarters of an inch thick same thing and then down here in panel frame widths, you can change the frame. You can make it whatever size you want. You can make the left, right, top, bottom. You can make them all different. I just made them all the same. They're probably a little wide. That image is, looks like it's got them smaller, but you can, you can change that real easy. Um, under options, single door only. I've, t I've taken away the casing. You don't need a jam. You don't need a, Threshold. I've taken away all the hardware. You don't need hardware. Basically, all you're going to end up with is, with is a door. Now, one thing I like to do is let's make this 36. Let's go over here and say double door only. And then to arch and say full arch. Say OK. And what that does is it just gives me a a good picture of what the doors are going to look like together. You can come in here and you can you can choose different arches. And again, this just makes it you're not you're not drawing CAD. You're not drawing circles or anything. You're you're you know you're just letting the program do its thing. You'll notice that there's a little um, you know these circles are not perfect. They're faceted, and you also notice you can see it over here. Chief puts a little bevel on this inside edge, which is when you're when you're over here it's, it's just you know it's a, it's impossible to see pretty much so once i've got my doors like i want them i'm going to change this to a right arch and you always want to do a right arch because that's what chief wants if you do a left arch then the doors will be they'll be backwards i'm going to change this back to 18. i'm going to change this to single door only and say okay and then while that's selected i can convert to symbol make it a cabinet door drawer i can change the name right here um, I've got show advanced options checked, so say okay. The only thing I would do is is 
Let's put a stretch plane over here somewhere. And so that's where the door is going to stretch as a symbol. So you can make the door shorter, but I wouldn't make it any wider. Actually, a door, a symbol like this would probably stretch okay because it's got this flat spot up here. You could put a stretch plane over right here. That's right it right in the middle. And I think I want it like it maybe eight. Nope, that's the wrong way. Minus Nope. Maybe I want it to be minus two. Somewhere in there. And that way the door will stretch right there instead of messing up this arc. So let's see, let's go back over here, let's make it, uh, and I'll add it to the library. Now it's right here. And we can apply it. Let's look over here. I'm gonna delete that. So there's there's a there's that that's 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 how easy creating a door symbol is. Uh, oh, never seen that before. All right, that's that's <laughs> that's totally weird. You can see it worked over here, but it didn't work over here. It really didn't work over there. All right, I'm going to delete that before uh, before I go any further. And I'm going to undo a bunch of times. All right. Now you can also make a door just by drawing a solid. And I'm not going to do that because I've got other videos on that. I can select this, convert to symbol, and I can make that a cabinet door drawer. I'll have to flip it up so it's in the right orientation, but You know, it's easy to rotate, so it's standing up instead of laying down. But I could convert that into a, a cabinet door. You can put a hole in it. You know, it's it's just it's just solid manipulation. You can do it any way you want. Um, all right, this is a CAD detail from View. If you're using interiors, you don't have this. This is this is one of those things that makes Premiere more expensive. 
But this is so handy for so many different things. So when you're in an elevation or a cross section, CAD, CAD detail from view. And now all this is just line work. These are all just individual lines. Everything you can snap to it, everything's real easy to, to do. And so, for example, changes. All right, there's the shape of that solid that I want. I'm going to, I'm going to um, copy this, or I could cut. It doesn't matter. I think I'm going to cut just to keep the line work cleaner. Go back over here. Control-Alt-V. And you can see it pasted it right on top of what I drew. And so I'm going to convert this to a polyline solid. Say OK. Say OK. Oh, it's still selected. I'm just going to drag it over here. And I think what the problem is, is there's probably... Probably overlapping somewhere. Now you'll notice, you'll notice that this is faceted. It's got, you can see these little flats in here. And so I'm going to delete this. I'm going to Control Alt V. Put this line work back. Now I'm, I'm just going to drag this over just to get it out of the way. All right, I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to disconnect. Pull this one up. Now, I don't do this enough to remember all the all the sequences you, you need what I want to do is I want to convert this use this tool convert curve to polyline and it's going to ask me how many sides I want and I'm going to pay attention to this angle increment which right now is 30 and I want it down around 2 or maybe 3 so I'm going to say 72 right here and that got me to 2.5 which is good I'll say OK. So now what I've got is a whole bunch of little segments in here. And then I'm going to drag this back down and drag this back down to there. And now it's all connected. And it's one piece again. Now I'll see if I can convert that. And I'll make it three quarters of an inch thick and now when you zoom in it's smooth it's got a nice nice curve to it so that's how you make this
So I'm going to delete that. Let's go back here to look. Okay, here's this piece. Here's where it needs to go. I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to come back here and butt it up against. And you'll see it's halfway there. Transform rel Replicate. Go back over here. And there. So there's that. This little molding line I put around here. Same kind of thing. Let's go back over here. I want to snap to that outside. I'm going to drag this up until right there. And that's where the beginning of this arc starts. And I can select this. Snap it right there. And then I want to do the same thing. Um, I want to disconnect. I'm going to disconnect. And then I can convert 72. Drag this back up, get it all connected. I'm going to say Control X, come back over here, Control Alt V, and then I'm going to convert 3D molding polyline. Say OK. Right now, I'm just going to leave the default molding there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to Materials and change the color. I'll make it like that. Say OK. Say OK. Let's go back over here. Sometimes, and it, it depends, sometimes, when you do something like this, it will end up um, not where you think it is. Like when I did this one over here, that molding polyline ended up on the back of the cabinet, and I had to move it out. But then you can... Uh, Move things around, add your own molding. If you want to move this molding polyline, you need to do it. You can see it right here. That's the molding polyline. And because it's a 3D molding polyline,
you need to move it with transform replicate. If you just grab part of it and drag it, it'll distort it. So you see that moved it flush. That moved it flush with the door and the face frame so you can see the red in the crack now. All right, I probably I probably left something out. Um, this is going to take forever to upload because I've got a very slow connection, so I better, I better stop. Ask questions in the comments. Um,